Well, hello, friends. So here we are. It's Sunday and the day off and time to get busy. So today we're going to we're gonna be um, learning how to edit a video using her favorite app, PowerDirector. A little, you know, step-by-step -step tutorial as she edits uh, her, her, whatever. I don't know what she's going to edit. That'll be a surprise. It'll be like a sneak peek of what's coming up. Yeah, that'd be fun. Be even better if she knew what she was doing. So, yeah. try to hold judgment on the mistakes and what you know better. Helpful tips are great. Criticism, mm -mm. she doesn't handle it well. show you what I did to try and help look at the camera so see you see that a little double-sided tape and a couple of diamonds to help me keep looking in the correct place why not so let's see how it works let's see how often I'm looking in the wrong place like right now I'm looking in the wrong place you tell the difference between that and that and that? I think you can. We'll see. But so that's um, my easy tuber trick for diamond painters. Put a couple drills there. I did a couple different colors. Um, the sparkly ones might be nice. Ooh, sparkly, what's that? And keep your eye on it. Um, I just grabbed whatever I have because I want to get outside. They're watching football and so I have... Um, been given free reign to do my thing today, so I'm gonna work on editing. Um, now, I am in my bathing suit. I'm not happy about that, but I do all my best work in the pool. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, earbuds, because sometimes I can't hear out there. I wish I had still a. Oh, I do somewhere. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos last night um, on audio, trying to improve my audio, <clears throat> audio quality, especially for reading that book. And one of the suggestions for you know cheap asses like me was if you have one of these for phone calls, the microphone on it is supposedly decent quality and you probably already got it. So um, mine has like some kind of short in it though. Probably from being in the pool. Sorry, sun. Um, so whenever I plug it in, it like it's like stuck as you're hitting the button. So it's always like jumping around. And I wish I hadn't wrecked it, but that would have been nice for voiceovers for reading the book. But yes, yeah, so this is like a trying to work out the logistics in my head because I did the one um, first video on tips for new tubers and now I'm going to do the video on how to edit it and what I'm going to edit is going to be reading another chapter so that I can put out the result of the editing the reading of the chapter over the top of previously recorded footage and that's what we're going to edit together and then the editing video of that will go out afterward so it's like trying to it's like time travel trying to figure it all out in my head. So ignore the references to past and present and what's going on and all that stuff because I can't work it out in my head right now because I'm just so excited that I've got found time that he's watching the game. So I want to get outside um, and get going on this. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, just bear with me. We'll make it work. Okay. Let me go outside. So I have this screen recorder app. And I'm going to use this.
to um, briefly. I know the lips don't match up to the voice because this is like take eight and I keep f***ing it up. But I just wanted to let you know that um, uh, this is a, a bonus day. I was supposed to help him with his website today, but it's Sunday and the game's on and he decided he'd rather watch the game. Bear with me. We're going in the pool and I'm going to do this from the pool because it's, it's, my, it's my free day now and it was supposed to be spent working on his website. I'm not going to keep recording myself the whole time, but I just wanted to show you that this is an option if you were to um, want to somehow set up your camera. Um, I don't know why you'd use this, but I just thought it was cool, so I'm sharing it. There's some reason for it. I just don't know what it is yet, but I could sit here and show you my apps. Like, we're going to start with... Um, I'm going to start by shrinking this down because I'm in my bathing suit. See? Neighbors watching the game outside at their pool. Um, I'm going to put you up here because that's... We always make eye contact with ourselves and that's where my camera is, so... Then I'm going to get rid of the little... Oops. Get rid of the... Oh, I just closed it. Never mind. I wonder how you bring that back. I don't know. I don't know if you can. I have no idea, but I'm gone. So, um, let's start with the Play Store. That one is just search for screen recorder. The one I'm using is this one, App Smart Screen Recorder. And they've got a quick little YouTube video. Okay, so that's kind of cool, right? That's what I use, and it's got these different modes. Um, essentially, it brings up this little icon. Oops, I just lost it. Where did it go? I lost it. Oh, here it is. And I can tap it, and it shows me my functions. If I want to pause, stop, take a photograph, um, and I believe you just touch it again to shrink it down, and you can um, hide this in your settings, but then I can never find the damn thing again. So, there it is. Um, one Touch Pictures, that's this one. So we've got One Touch Recording, One Touch Photos. This is where you can show yourself while you're recording your screen, like I just showed. Um, this is, opens up like the library of what you've got. And you can access it from the notification bar and share it. Settings. Feedback. So, there we go. Oh, now it's going to do it in landscape. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. There we go. How the hell do you get out of it? I don't know. Um, hit the back button. There we go. So, this is the one that I use. I like it. I haven't tried many but I was just trying to find something to use when I wanted to show like uh, those screenshots of people's YouTube video lists, how many videos they had, so I quickly got this and tried it out. Um, but that's that. Now, let me back up again. And the app I use for editing, I um, created a playlist for Tuber Tips on my channel and I linked in the description of the first tuber tip video 
a lot of the channels that I watch. And I also um, put at the end of that in the um, end screen links to my actual uh, playlist for tuber videos that I've watched. I did. I just kind of went through my entire history of everything I've watched and anything that I watched the whole thing. I guessed that I liked it and I stuck it in there. So feel free to dig through that and subscribe to any of those channels. Um, now I'm going to pull up the app that I use. This is a Power Director. Okay. This is what I use to edit my videos. So let's watch their little clip. I really like this one. Um, let's see. You can actually do this where you can remove the background from you and stick in something else. Uh, I've used that a little bit, not much. Obviously, making movies, video editing tools, different effects. I've use that less and less as I go on because it's just time consuming adding all that stuff in. Um, combining pictures and videos in one movie. You can do voiceovers, so you know the um, reading of the book. Uh, I tend to instead of using the voiceover mode on this, what I do is I use the screen recorder for the voice and then I drop that file in but I could try it this way too. This is better, I'm guessing, if you're describing what you're doing. But then, like I said, I'm doing the screen recorder right now because otherwise I'd have to do all the visual and then go back in, drop it into PowerDirector, and then record the audio. So it would take twice as long as if I just use a screen recorder. And then you can save the quality. I always save it to my gallery first. And then... I go into YouTube to load it up because if you do it that way you can have your default settings as far as your different um, tag words, title, uh, whether it's public or private or unlisted, all of those settings can be preloaded into it versus if you were to share it to YouTube everything's blank and you got to start from scratch every single time. So we'll go through that too. It looks like that's all the videos, so, or pictures, sorry. I really like it, um, and it's a subscription base. So let's go back to that, and I'll show you my subscriptions. I haven't figured this out, how to change it, because I'm to the point now I want to switch to a year subscription and save a little more money. But when I went into this, it doesn't let me change what type of subscription I have. I'm on you know, 10 bucks for three months. Ooh, Jasmine. Something scared her. Okay. So that's Power Director. And there's other ones that um, people really like. I know uh, Kinemaster, and there's, um, what are the other ones? Uh, let's see. editing apps. I tried this Magistro. I didn't like it. Um, I've tried Video Shop. Eh. I tried um, what else did I try? Filmora Go. Uh, I know um, I think Allison said she uses that. I don't think I tried that one. I don't remember. But, you know, I watched videos on the best app from late 2017 because I was looking at this like, you know, it was spring. 
Um, there's other stuff out there, I'm sure, now that I didn't really pay attention to back then. I don't know how new any of these are, but... Yeah, this Mag Magistro, I didn't... I don't know. Try them out. Um, I would suggest try a couple of them and see which one you like. I ended up going with the Power Director. I just... I liked it. And it was Editor's Choice. There's a few that are Editor's Choice, but I... And now I'm used to it, so it, for me to switch now, I don't know. I don't know if I want to. But that's what I use, so we've got that down. So I don't know whether it works for iPhone. Mine, you know, is Android, so there are videos that are in my playlist of apps that are good for either one. So let's get it pulled up, and we're going to start editing a video for the next one to be posted. This is my last one, so you can see in here it shows me what I've got already made and then I've got uh, it has tutorials on how to do things which is very helpful and then it uh, so that's here they've got the can you see yeah you can see that little dot here's tutorials I don't want to click on it and then produced videos so you can see you can keep them in here for a while if you want, but I run out of room on my phone, so I start deleting stuff. Um, you know, as I need room. And here's my most recent. I have found that I like to keep the most recent because I will use that to create uh, screenshots for the next one. Um, I did for a while have templates set up, but then I kept forgetting to rename them and I like to change things up slightly on each one. So we're just going to start with a new project. And here's where I was talking about landscape and portrait. You know, this one with this dot right here, this is landscape. Think of the landscape, and then this is portrait. Think of a picture portrait. Okay. Preferred method is landscape, and I'm thinking that's because, you know, so many of us watch it on our TVs too, or our laptops. What are you doing? Oh, Daddy left a jer jerky treat on the table for her, and she's sitting here trying to get it. That's weird. Why would he do that? Now, I just happened to remember because I just loaded a video into YouTube last night what number I'm on so I'll just number it 59 is what I'm doing next I used to be like more specific as to what it was about and everything but I just find it easier for me to just number all of mine diamond tube whatever okay so got it saved in there and it automatically goes to beginning to create something now Typically what I do is I'll start with my video and I'll put all that in and then I will film something in Snapchat for a beginning and end because I never know what my content is really going to be until I'm done. I don't know how far I'm going to go because I'll record like four or five hours at a time and I don't know what all is going to be included. So I tend to do my intros and exits last. Um, so in this case... Because we're going to do the book, I'm not going to actually read it while we're here, but we know that this is going to be for the book. So let me make a intro. And I'm trying to think if I want to do it that way. No, I actually made one for this editing video. So let me back this up again. The book is going to be 59. This editing video is going to be 60. So we're going to create 60. Hit OK. Here's Snapchat. <clears throat> and this I did this morning these ones over here okay so these are all from snapchat you can see it categorizes your videos you've got this button up here 
is, is if you want to start with a video or a photograph or music for ease we're going to just start with a video you've also got these lines these are your layers for your videos and it starts out with just one layer for video and then you've got two sound tracks if you pay for the subscription it opens your ability to have more and more layers if you were doing it with the free version you get I think one video layer and maybe one or two it'll create it once I put another one in a picture layer and then audio so I'm not exactly sure I don't remember with the free version how many layers you'll get but I'm kinda I get lots of layers so we're gonna start by just putting in our snapchat video first so you can click on that and you can click play well hello friends so here we are it's Sunday and the day off I don't have to watch the whole thing and I just tap the plus sign and it drops it into that bar now my personal preference is, is I crank up the volume on every single clip and I so that you have the maximum volume at your disposal and you can turn it down rather than you not having the ability to make it loud enough. So, um, first thing I do is I tap on the actual item. See, I can just tap on it. It highlights it in green. And then I go over to this little pencil over here and I tap that and I open up the volume and I just max it out. Okay. They also have this audio mixing. I messed with that in the beginning with, you know, the levels. It tends to make the music really loud, but I tend now to just turn up everything to max. And then I'll adjust clip by clip down if I need to so that I have the maximum volume available. All right. Now, the next thing is got some cleavage showing there, but because Snapchat, the way that you film it, it works best in portrait. You can manage to record in landscape, but it takes a little finagling because you got to turn your camera once it recognizes your face. So I tend to just leave it in portrait and then I crop. So the next step is then highlight it again, go back to the pencil and hit the crop button right here. And then you actually use your fingers, because I'm on my phone, and I just spread it apart until their face is kind of not cut off too bad. Make it as big as I can. Okay. And then to tap off of it again to unhighlight. All right. Well, hello, friends. So here we are. It's Sunday. Okay. Now, some of the characters... I changed their voices because I have had a, a comment that they were hard to understand. So some of the really high-pitched ones, obviously what Snapchat, chat, Snapchat does is they speed it up to get that chipmunk thing going. So I'll intentionally slow it back down a little bit to make it a little easier to understand. Or the character, the unnamed character I have right now that looks like Tiny without a beard, that one by default has a high-pitched voice and I think that's kind of odd so I slow that down to deepen it up a little bit but if I bring it down so much that it sounds more like a man then it sounds like and it's just irritating so I've got my intro okay okay so I'm gonna recrop that because now I don't like the way it centered itself so I just click that again and I'll slide it up a little and we'll go back to the beginning and see how it looks at the beginning. With Snapchat, you know, I always wait for it to start recording and then I'll give it a second and talk. So I might want to cut just a second or two off. So while I do with that, again, I highlight and you can see there's this little green dot here. You just grab it with your finger and, well, now it's not going to do it. And you slide that and that's to crop it off and it gives you it in tenths of a second so I'm just gonna like shave off like and you can see the video where it's at visually while you're doing it so I always try and get it before I start to like speak so it doesn't look too weird but also not 
so much that it looks like I'm sitting there waiting to talk. So, right before I blink my eyes, let's see here. Okay, so three tenths of a second. And play. Well, hello, friends. So now, here's where I would then go into my credits. So, I tend to find for me, if you're going to do any kind of thing like this, I find it best to pick my music clip first. I know the length of it, and then I adjust all of the title screens to match the length of the audio. So, for audio, over here, you can see there's a little music note, so I'm going to click on that, and then up here, again, music note, go to that. They do come with some stuff. Um, they've got, let's see here, right here, this is built in, and you've heard a lot of these over and over again. And this gives you how many seconds long it is. My intro music, I try and keep it about 30 seconds. That's about right for the flow of the titles to go without being too fast. Um, this one, this was me grabbing it off the internet. So these all, I believe, came with PowerDirector. So we'll just use one of the ones that comes with it rather than what I used. We'll get into that in a future video of where you can get more music because I don't want this thing to be like 12 hours long. So this is just very basics. You know, like I said in the first one, just grab your camera, follow your day, practice editing and loading into YouTube. Keep it private if you don't want anybody seeing it, but practice makes perfect. Beat and lively, I'm liking that. So, and it's 24 seconds long, that's pretty good. This one I think is real mellow. I tend to use that for the end instead. So we're gonna do time to travel. Okay. And so now what I do to put it in is I actually highlight it and I can see that plus sign now. And I just do that. And you can see it dropped it down into a different line here. Okay. Now, so I have that much time until my video begins. So the next step is my title screens, okay? So I'm gonna just hit this back button and I'm gonna back myself out. And now I need to add in my titles. So the first thing I would do is um, this bar here, I need a background color. And I just by default, tend to go with black for my first screen. So I'm going to hit, because it's this line, which is over here, I need to hit the movie button. And then it's not going to be an actual movie, it's going to be a photo, okay? And then this thing here, color board, right here. And I just pick black. So I tap once, hit the plus sign, it drops a black color board in. And then I just tend to pick some colors. Now she's got the bathing suit on, so whenever I've started the pool, I tend to coordinate to the pool colors. And black to teal tends to be kind of a cool effect. And I can just start picking colors, and I'll pick a few. And I think that's good for now. Don't know how many I'm going to need. I will just throw these in until I'm done editing and know exactly how many titles I want because I don't know how much content I'm going to have till I'm done editing. I try and keep it under an hour and a half long. I think once you get beyond that, that's asking a lot of people to be watching that much. So I'll just get to the point where I'm about an hour and a half and then I'll come back and title everything to know what all it's going to include. My first board is always my um, channel name. So I can put that one in right away. So I just keep hitting back. Now, the titles are on this line for the layers, this one with the pages. So I'm gonna hit that button up here 
page. And you can see here, there's title. So I'm going to hit a title. And there's, these are your free choices. Okay. If you subscribe, then you can see this cloud get more. That's what happens when you pay money. You get more choices. So I started out with this roller coaster left. And that's what I've always pretty much used with a few exceptions. So I dropped that into my first slot. And then rather than having to back out over here, you can just hit play. And it brings you up back to your main screen. Now, if you listen, you'll hear the difference of how much louder the, the music track is than my video. going to scare the crap out of you. I don't want to do that to you. I did do it once with the husband alert phone at the end, but you know, some of us have heart conditions, so I don't want to do that. So I need to lower the volume on the music. I could either do it. There's two ways. I'm going to click on it to highlight it, and then I'm going to hit edit and then volume. And I can either go into the main and bring the whole thing down. It's going to bring that whole layer down. So no matter what I drop in there, it's going to be 10%. I don't do that anymore because sometimes I'm doing voiceovers and it gets dropped into that track. And I don't want that one quiet. So I leave that up. I'm going to cancel out of there. And instead, this would just change that one clip. So I just know from experience I got to bring it way down because it's freaking loud as hell. And I know there's other channels um, that they have music and it's really not an issue that it's blaring. But sometimes if like I'm trying to be quiet, my husband's sleeping and I have, you know, it really quiet listening to somebody and that'll come on it'll startle him but if I have earbuds in sometimes it does kind of blast my earbuds my ears so I yeah mm. I try and not do that to you guys sometimes I'm sure it gets away from me but so anyway I'm gonna turn that way down and then I'm just gonna double check Says, um, mm -mm. she doesn't handle it well come up a little but I'm gonna leave it for now I tweak all that at the very end all right now the next thing I tend to do is I've always kind of done that flame one because that's the very first one I ever used and I kind of stuck with it unless it's not something that goes well with this the track I use for the music so I'm gonna just back it up and hit play I like my music to begin right as the flames go. So I just click on this till it highlights it in yellow and I drag it over till it lines up with the beginning of the flames. You can see that blue line and I just let it go there. Okay. Now, this by default has their title on there. And obviously, it's not what I want. So you just click on it and then you actually touch the screen itself and it brings it up as a text box. So I just back out, erase it, and I start typing in my title. Gone, off, for whatever reason, it's always lowercase, my meds. And then I hit the check mark. Now that's not the font I use, so I go over to pencil. And I hit title designer and I highlight that and I always use this one that's my that's my font make it a little bigger okay there is also this button here to center it center it and this centers it that way but I don't like it in the middle I like it a little higher and then I like to cock it a little and I can go bold because it's a naturally skinny title 
and then I pick a color. Now we're doing the pool theme, so let's go with teal, and then this next one here, this is your outline. So let's go with cobalt blue, and we just, this increases how thick your outline is. We'll go about like that. And then this one is your shadow. You can either do a single shadow, see how that is? And then this is the distance. So I play with this all the time. Or you can fill your shadow. Okay? So today let's do that. And then this changes the shade. This is your color. Okay? So we're going to go with like that. We'll go a little darker. And then this is how transparent it is. So whether or not you want to be able to see through it. So we'll do a little bit. And let's brighten that up just a tad and get it a little darker. Or we could even go with... Where's the purple? Let's go a little purpley. Now let's go with teal. Now let's go... See? This is why it takes me so long, because I can't decide. And then we'll make it just a little narrower. There we go. Alright. Now, you know I have my little pill bottles there. And those are actually my pills, in case you're wondering. I originally had screenshots I found Googling, but, you know, I didn't want to copyright infringement so I actually took pictures of my own meds so again I'm going back to the layers and I'm going to add an image and then you'll get used to this as you go Photoshop Express is where that one is because I put it in Photoshop and and I um, here I'll show you I fogged up the edges of it and I blurred out my actual name and prescription numbers from it so that you couldn't get my address and my prescription number and refill it on me. But so that was out of Photoshop. So I'm just going to add a plus. Now wherever this blue line is, that's where it's going to drop it. Okay. So if I were to back out, see this? It's undo. It undoes it. You can see I only have one layer level right now for photos. If my blue line was over here and I put that in, it wouldn't add a second layer. But if my blue line is lined up with something else, it's going to add another layer. With the free version, I'm not sure how many layers you get. It might be two for photos. So like one, you always only get one layer for video. You may get two here. I can get like eight, nine, ten now that I'm paying. And then, I don't know if you get one or two audio tracks. When we started, there was two. Now we're down to one because we used this. But, again, play with it. Um, so let me add back in my photo again. And I tend to line up the title right at the beginning of the clip to the end. And then for my photo, I don't tend to do this as I'm dropping it in. I tend to tweak it later, but if I were to be careful, I could actually line my blue line up with where I want it, because I always have it come in after the the roller coaster of my name starts. So I'm going to add that back in, and it's an image, and it's under my Photoshop Express, and I'm going to drop it in. Alright, so there's that, and I can hit play. It's just a little clip that I just touch and I can drag it around. I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger, I can tilt it. Sometimes I do big, da, 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 all kinds of choices. So it's whatever mood I'm in. So we're going to go a little whacked this way this time. And then pinch and um, stretch the size of it. It's whatever you want. Okay, so there we go. Now, I this is getting hard to see down here because the width isn't very big. So if I stretch this with my fingers, it gives me more control, more fine tuning. So I click this, drag it over here a little, get this lined right up, 
and then this I can watch to see as soon as those flames start to disappear that's when I would have that begin right about there and then I'm going to drag it this way and click it and I can cut it back and I would have it end before whatever this thing I haven't put it in yet but I have it disappear before my next transition begins so now let's add another transition so I just click on the transition and I tend to do blizzard for the next one it's just kind of the way I've always done it with some exceptions so here we go again so forth then the next one is usually the presents so just quickly I'm going to add the title and that one I tend to do this flip one I do that or I've done this pop-up no I guess I don't do that one um, let's see I'm going to try and stick to the free ones but I will show you what's out here. So I will tend to do this one, this march, because I think it's kind of cool how it'll come from the right and wrap around in front of the photo of the characters. So we'll go ahead and add that in. Now, here's the next thing to know with these layers. Whatever layer is in your top row, think about it as far as front to back. If this was a three-dimensional layering, Whatever is in your top row here, that's at the very front of everything else. So if things are overlapping, this one is going to be the one that is on top of everything else. So with the way I do this, because I have that character picture and this comes and overlaps the front, I need to drag it down one level. And then I'm going to add in my picture of the characters. and. I create those by using the collage um, function on the gallery. So I'm on pictures here and then here collage. Okay. And so I started making my video thumbnails in the collage and I've got going way back my collages of my characters that I use over and over again. So let's go use an old one. I see here. Well, we've got the pool. These are nice because they're all teal. Okay, so there. Now, you can see these little transitions. You can change using this little, oops, let me get that out of the way. Using this, how long they last? Up to four seconds. By default, they start at two seconds. So if you want it to be quick, you can change it or if you want it to drag out longer. So you can adjust each of those and you can either apply that to all of your transitions or just one at a time. I do one at a time. What I'm gonna do next is, you know, I can see that transition. So I'm gonna double check here to make sure that my pills are disappearing before that confetti starts or thereabouts. Okay, and then I've got See how that comes in front? If I switched these around where this was down below, and it's just when it's yellow, that means you can move it. If I did it this way, now let me get it where it's see, now it's behind. See what I mean? So you gotta do that the right way. Now I'm gonna just hit the undo button, get it back where I had it. Now, I've got to retitle this, and this is where I put presents. Alright, and I don't want to be trying to edit this when it's all fuzzy. I'm going to do it here. <clears throat> Alright, first thing I do is I, and I've, I've messed with this a bunch. Sometimes I've got it over here, over there. It's just sometimes you fall into a pattern and it just makes it faster if you just keep doing the same thing. <coughs> so 
So there we go. And then the presents, do it here. And then we're going to pick out a font for this. So I go here, title designer, and there's lots of things to choose from. I'm sure I have more than you would with the free version. I believe like this one, you can see it's got the little cloud. That means I haven't used that yet. I haven't downloaded it. Oops. I don't want it either. I, let's see here. Let's go with this today. And what's going to go good with the teal? Well, a lot of those characters have on a black shirt, so let's do black. And I'm going to outline it so it shows up where it's overlapping. So we'll put a little outline on it of maybe some blue, and I can adjust the shade. And I don't know what I want. Or I could switch that around. We do blue with a black outline. That's better. And if I want to add a little shadow to it, There we go. And I can adjust the shade of that a little if I wanted to. If I wanted to head more into the teals. And I'm going to be real ass and just cover the whole thing. Let's do something different this time, huh? There we go. And this. Just sorry, Maggie. Getting covered up. And check to see how it works. Okay. So that all makes sense? I can see you nodding or looking baffled. Now here's my picture and again. I'm doing this because I'm not thinking straight. Normally I would add my transition first, figure out what I want to do. Um, these are the ones that come with it again. And whenever I come from the pool, I tend to like to do this water droplet thing. I think it's cool looking. Um, I'll show it that. Because I was in the pool. So then I want this picture to start to be gone by the time the water begins. Because I just think I like that how it turns out and same thing on this end I don't want that picture to show up until after my speckles have stopped or very close to it okay. so that gives you an idea you can tweak it sometimes you might not want I'm thinking this color now doesn't go good with the next screen, so I'll adjust that. We'll go with, let's see, more of a teal. Change this. That looks okay. And you might not want it to go through there because they're so similar in color. So I might back that out to be gone by the time that really hits home. Similar in color, so don't have it show up until closer to when it's gone. don't know what I'm doing yet so I'm gonna wait on that one I'm gonna wait on that one and then the last one I tend to do is uh, that photo of me and there's two ways of doing it I can either do it with a color board 
okay, and adding a layer with a photo. And that one is also from Photoshop because I, where'd it go? Where are you? <clears throat> I don't know why I just want to show it. There, I blurred the edges on this as well. So that's one way of doing it. I can shrink and big and little and all that, but it's kind of a static image. It doesn't go anywhere. It just fades in and out. All right, and that's how I did it in the beginning because I didn't explore my options. So that's option one. Get rid of this, delete it. Option two is if I actually put it in this line, the, the movie line, but I pick up, choose a picture and I plop that in, okay? And let's put in a transition, let's do Um, we'll do this wipe. Has, has it just do its thing. But if you don't want it to do that, you can tap it, edit, and then it's this pan zoom button. And you pick custom motion. And see here, the, here's these tips. And you can uncheck them so it can stop showing it to me. And I'm going to stop because I don't need that anymore. Um, here's the YouTube tutorial. But I just click this one and it's where I'm going to start. So I can either adjust it here by touching here. Or I can actually go to my picture, shrink and enlarge. So if I wanted to say start small and then I touch over here for end position and go big and let's say I am going to be an asshole and do that okay <laughs> why I don't know And I can back it up some of this stuff I don't know the fine details but And then, of course, that went past my music score, ended there. So I click this and I drag it back. And I'll usually bring it back just before the end of the score. And then I'd bring in my regular video. So my video today is going to be what I'm doing right now, which I don't have in here yet because I haven't recorded it. But there's... You can see I've got all kinds of videos that you guys haven't seen yet. I mean, I've got stuff up the wazoo. So let's just do where I show you how to put the diamonds on your phone. Just so we have something for you to see. I'm going to add a transition. And I like this one. I think that one's cool. So I'm going to add that. Oops, see, and then it gives me a warning because I didn't pick what I want. So I've got to highlight my little box here and then click the plus sign and I can hit play. So I'm going to show you what I did to try and help look at the camera. Now, I don't know if you can hear that from the screen recorder, but it's very quiet. So I am going to turn up the volume, click on the clip, highlight it, hit edit, hit volume, crank it up, hit OK. So I'm going to show you what I did. Now, listen carefully as that goes because it like comes right in and you hear a snap. And that's because the music track down here ends abruptly and the sound from this begins abruptly and it makes a snapping noise. And it's just bugs me. So I'm going to show you what I did to try and help look. So to get rid of that, what I do is highlight my music track, edit the volume, fade out. Okay. And on this one, edit the volume, fade in. 
usually takes care of it, not always, but let's see. So I'm going to show you what I did to try and help look at the camera. So, see? See, now I'm just distracted watching. I'm going to go back. You can't really see very well the actual diamonds here. Wouldn't it be nice if I zoomed in on that? So let's find a nice place to zoom in. The trick is try and cut the clip because I'm not going to zoom the whole thing because I could if I wanted to zoom in, but then you're not going to see me. I just want to cut in a little portion where I can zoom in a, a section. So I want to find a place where the audio is quiet between words or something because if you cut things right in the middle of a word you'll get that snapping noise from your clip so I'm gonna just listen for a good breaking point and I'm going to cut it at that point I see that see I stopped see that click on this it's highlighted in green now you can see that was green and then this little exacto knife click it. I just put a splice in. All right. Now let's find where I'm going to come back out of that. A little double-sided tape and a couple of diamonds. There. I stopped talking again. Splice it again. Let's hear it, see if it has snaps in it. I see that? A little double-sided tape and a couple of diamonds to help me keep looking in the correct place. Sounds pretty good. Now, what I need to do to zoom in is I just, that little segment, I'm gonna tap it, turns green, I'm gonna edit, and crop. Now, sometimes you'll get the little like um, circle, like it's thinking. Wait until it does that. Otherwise, you like grab it too soon to adjust it and it doesn't work and it's annoying. So. This one went fast. If it's a big clip, you might see that. When I sh when, if I notice it, I'll, sh I'll point it out. But now that it's ready, I just use my fingers and stretch and drag. And there's a limit to how far you can go. It'll snap back as to the maximum. Okay? So you can bring it in or out so that you feel like it's big enough for people to see. I assume a lot of people watch on their phone and not a 50 inch TV Jan so I tend to go max but video quality it's gonna end up kinda blurry depending on you know what you're recording it I brought my quality down to save space on my camera I could probably increase it now that I've got a memory card but that's probably good enough I don't need my face in there, so yeah, you can just bring that up. Now I'm going to just drag it back and hit play. You see that? A little double sided tape and a couple of diamonds to help me keep looking in the correct place. There we go. So that's how that goes. Now um, I ramble for a while. I don't know if any of that needs to come out. I don't know how long it is. Again, I can squeeze this in to make things not quite so spread out. See, so now I can see this blue line shows you what time you're at. When, as soon as I take my finger off, it disappears. So I can't point at it too, but that box is coming up right in this area. There it is. So I can see how long that clip is. So it ends, you know, 4 minutes 47 seconds in. I don't necessarily want to sit here with you guys going, you know, that long watching it. So I'll edit that on my own. But um, stretch this out a little bit more. Here's another setting you've got too. Now, right now I've got, um, let me stretch it out again. 
over here. Uh, there's two modes for this because now it's got, see how that looks now like this isn't lined up anymore? As you stretch it out, you can see where it is. And it's way the heck over there. It's not where I wanted it. I want it here. But if you can't get it exactly where and you want it exactly, go to this settings up here, the little gear. Click on that and go to settings. And then they have this enable snap clips to enable snap to clips in timeline. Turn that on. There's also this one which I find annoying. Continue playback after seeking. I'll show you that later. Um, default image effect. Apparently this is when you're doing that. Dropping my picture into it and it automatically made it like kind of do whatever. You can turn that on or off. Um, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. When you have the free version, they will let you unlock other items by watching like a 30 second ad so you can unlock some of the stuff I have by paying by just watching little ads kind of cool um, and then notifications I never pay attention but I'll leave it on and then you can reset your tips so that they all come up and then here's that power director for PC I haven't tried it I don't know how much it is shoot where'd it go Oh, this is probably it. So how much is it? Let's see here. $69.99. It's 30% off. Normally $99.99. So there you go. That's it for PC. And like I was saying, then it's like you pay it and you're done. You don't have to keep spending money. But I like using my phone. Let me back back out of that. Okay. So. If we enable these snap clips in the time frame. Now, when I move this, it's going to automatically drop it to either the beginning, the middle, or the end of that. Or it can be lining it up to my gone off my meds title. But let's say I want it to go to the end of this. I think it should work. I don't know why it's not really working. But you can see it like bangs into that. Well, I guess it just wants to go there. But I'll just line it up to that because I like it to begin right at the beginning of the flames. And you can see actually on the screen the flames are starting way sooner. So that's probably why it was way over there. So let's try that again. Okay. And then gone off my meds. I like it to start right there. And then this one, I like it to be more like, I want to fine tune it. So when I've got this snap to thing, it bugs me because it makes it go where I don't want it to go. So I can do my titles first. You know, get them lined up perfectly. I'm not going to this time on that. But I would use that snap to to get them right where I want them. And if I wanted more fine tuning, manual fine tuning, then I turn that off. So like this one got all whacked out. Let's see here. Sometimes too, if you're like right on something, it kind of gives it that herky-jerky look. That's when it, this is like in the middle. Sometimes it'll do that. Whereas if I just back it out a little, let's try it here instead. It might get rid of that jerkiness. my crotch so let's take this back to pan and zoom custom motion we'll start here where do we want to start we'll start here and we'll end here I'm going to show you what I did Okay, now let's say there was something in this where you didn't want to see 
something over here like you didn't want you in here but you still wanted to zoom okay so anyway if I just click on this and I hit crop I can like bring that in to cut something out okay so there's there's ways around it and then if I don't want to do it I just hit the undo button and what I'm going to edit is going to be reading another chapter so that I can put out the result of the editing, the reading of the chapter. Okay, now, this is incorrect because it's not what we did. So, um, let's see here. We'll do... lies now we don't need it that big and cut it down and then this one we'll put all lies And I want that one to like come right in under this one. Let's make it a little smaller. Lies. All lies. And let's let's make it like a warning. Lies. And change the font on that to something really obnoxious see I should have copied and pasted that afterward so let me get rid of this delete now I'm gonna do this so now I'm gonna do this button here see it duplicate and drag that down underneath So I kept all the fonts and everything the same. All lies. Make this one a little smaller. And to center it, hit the edit, title designer, hit this little center button right here. Center it in there. Same thing with this one. Edit, title design, center, center. Lies, all lies. Chapter. Editing the reading of the chapter. Spread those out a little bit more. See, because I've got it stretched so far that we're seeing so much that it seems like a long time, but it's not. It's really only looking at the blue thing. 58.4 2 seconds so. editing the reading of the chapter over the top of previously recorded footage and that's what we're going to edit together and then the editing video of that okay so um, if I think of more things I'll put more in as far as that goes um, editing I might drop more stuff in on my own without it being on this clip but this clip now is going to get put in right after this so I'm going to drop this right here and then once I do that I'm going to put in the exit but I actually need to put in the exit now so you can see how it's done so what I'm going to do is the exit now I have my video from Snapchat and this is my exit. Well, what'd you think? So I'm just gonna drop that in and we're going to just double check that I got the volume all the way up. Yep. And we're gonna turn the volume all the way up on this one. 
We're going to see if it snaps on us. Oh, doesn't seem to. So now we're going to crop it and make it bigger so we can see all the pumpkin's head. Okay, and we'll put in, just for our sake, a transition. So we will do, let's do the rotate. See how that looks. Let me go outside. See how slow that was? And I don't like with the black outline. So I don't like that one. Let's do something else. We'll do... Let's, let's look at the ones that... The premium ones. So... Hey, that one's kind of cool. Let's do Typhoon. So it blew apart. Okay. Let me go outside. Well, so there's that. When you actually watch this, you'll get to see what it says at the end. Spoiler alert. And then you know after she's quiet, then I'm going to put in my title. But let's see if there I needed to pull off anything at the beginning. Because like I said, when I start recording, there's a couple seconds. Well. See how that's kind of, she's just sitting there. So I'm going to tap this, drag this backward. And I'll usually go until I see me start to open my mouth. Facial expressions are a tip, something's about to happen. I'll bring it back just a bit before that. And go. Well. And then I go to the end of it. Same thing, because I have to hit the button to stop recording. You want to see a dance video? Not in that case, I ran out of time. So, next is the exit music same thing as the beginning so I'm gonna pick something I like to pick something about minimum 20 seconds and that is because when you upload to YouTube and you're gonna add the thumbnails for the recommended videos at the end you can only put it in the last 20 seconds of your video so I want to have my title gone off my meds disappear out of my way first and give me my full 20 seconds to put in the other stuff. So I need something like 25 seconds long, at least. So I'm going to go to my music, music, music. Now we used a live, no, we used um, time to travel for the beginning one. Elegance. Um, best moments in life. I kind of like this one. And then there's this one. I like that one too. We'll use that one for today. We'll use that, even though it's only 14 seconds long. Pop that in. And see how there's that big difference in sound again? You want to see a dance video? Blasting you. So. Click it, bring the volume down. If you end up with a click or a, t a tick, you'll fade in. You want to see a dance video? But, yeah, you know, wait a minute. She says, want to see a dance video. A dance video. Something lively. Get rid of this. So now we need something big. We need something big. So let's go to... Actually, hang on. Sound clips. Now, um, these are the ones that if you watch little ads, you can open up. Let's do musical jingles. Let's see here. What's this one? Um, musical jingles. Let's see here. Sensations. I think these are all just like... Yeah, they're all really short. That's not music music. And instruments. These are really short. A couple of seconds. So that's not what I want. Yeah. None, oh, here. Here's something. Sensation 1. This is 26 seconds. Let's see what that is. 
See how it has to download it? What's this one? Okay. So, this stuff is not going to cause any kind of copyright issues the ones that are in this folder within power director these are going to still allow you if you're trying to monetize your channel to collect the money yourself if you use things that are copyrighted then some of the owners of the material will let you use it but if it gets monetized they get the money or get rights to the money so that's a different folder. I'll show you that. So I need to download it off the little cloud and then add it in. And you can see it's filling it up there. So this folder, um, the get sound clips folder here, this one is all stuff you can use, no problem. The get background music, everything I've grabbed out of here so far has then been copyrighted and I don't get to monetize that because there was a lot of them that I liked in here and if I even show you these it's going to end up getting on my um, video and I won't be able to monetize but this is where there was like the um, when I first started switching the music around, like this one, I, I really like this. It's probably enough that I didn't even, now they have this little A over here inside the brackets and I thought, well, maybe those are the ones that have copyrights and the other ones don't, but then I tried using other ones and it still snagged it on me. So you can use them, no problem. You're just never gonna get monetization for that. That one I got hit too, so yeah, but oh, let's take that back out. And let's watch for when I shut my mouth, because I like to kind of transition into the music. Dance. There. And then I fade in and out on my end. You want to see a dance video? I even bring that sooner like as soon as I start to dance because I think that's really long yeah it's a really long one what do you want to see next what are you enjoying you want to see a dance video yep. so now I can't quite hear I've got it at max volume so I need to lower my music because you can't hear. Let us know. What do you want to see next? What are you enjoying? You want to see a dance video? Okay, now my end title. And this one, not so terribly different. I do Swarm Right. I don't know why. It's probably exactly the same. Put in my name. Oops. Gone. Off. My meds. Change my font. And pick a color. And a border. And we'll do the... a notch, darken it up a little, and let's make that a little less obtrusive. And if you can't center things on your own, again, you can hit center here and center there. And I always put
put mine above center so that at my end screen when my subscribe button comes in it's not in the way and then wherever this ends I just do the default length for that which ends up being let's see 47.7 to 50 it's a five second thing and then I'll go 20 I usually go about 20 seconds past here so I'm at five we'll call it 548 so I'm gonna go 20 seconds past that is gonna be 08 which is right about there so now I'm just gonna listen to my music to find a good spot to cut that I can just back that off because I've got it on fade There we go. Now, I need to take the clip that we're doing right now and insert it in because right now my entire video is only six minutes long and clearly that's not going to do it. So I need to now put the actual content in, which is everything I've been talking to you about. And we're going to stick that in right here. And I've got, that's actually an hour 28. I'm going to hit stop and I'm going to throw it in there. So we got an hour and a half long movie here. All right, now I hit stop so that clip is saved in my screen recorder program. And now I want to insert it in between here and here. So I'm going to go to the video and here's my easy video recorder folder. You'll figure all this out with your phone because you'll have different shit going on too. Um, so I'm going to open that up and then let's see how long this one is. Yep, 88 minutes. So this is the one. So I'm just going to, instead of just double clicking because that will put it at the end, I'm going to drop it so that I got that yellow line there and I'm going to drop it in place. You can see that transition disappeared. It's probably down at the other end. So what I want to do is I'm now going to transition from what I was doing when I was still in the craft room to this. Because I said, hey, I'm going to go outside now. So we'll do page curl. I like the page curl. I think it's kind of neat. And we're going to hit play. And it's probably going to take a while because it's an 88 minute clip for it to load. I'm going to actually go to where I start talking right there and just back it up a squitch. Hit that, splice it with my knife. I'm going to take this clip. I don't want it. Dump it. Now that took away my page curl too. So I need to add that back in. And then I'm going to hit play. So I have this screen recorder. Okay, now, good. That looks good. But you can see my, I'm portrait. I don't want to be portrait. So what I did was I double checked by just scrolling down to see when I actually got into the meat of this stuff, if it switched for me. And see, here's where our old end used to be. And that's going to have to get shoved down to the very end of the movie. So first off, let me find where the thing goes, changes there, right there. So you can see it, it went black and then it, it automatically changed its positioning for me. But I don't want the beginning part over here looking like that because I was in the corner up here, you can see me up there, sideways. So I want to fix that. So I can do it as of, as soon as I disappear right there, I'm gone. And I don't necessarily want to go from landscape to portrait and back to landscape because I'm at 6 minutes and 43 seconds and then literally like 17 seconds later I'm back. So I'm just going to 
want to change this whole thing to landscape. So I can just cut it, depends on if I'm talking here. Let's start with the Play Store. Right there I start talking. So, and I'm going to cut it there. And then this whole thing is all one segment now. And I want to switch it so that it's not me sideways. So click on it, hit the edit button, and then here's this rotate right here. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There we go. There, it's rotated. But it's teeny tiny. So I want to zoom in on that now. So I just tap it, hit the edit, hit crop. See, there's that circle I was talking about. You gotta wait till that ends. And then I'm gonna zoom in. I don't know how the, well this is going to work because it never seems to go the way you expect when it's this portrait to landscape zooming. So let's just see what it looks like. It's probably going to be a little tiny thing, yeah, with me zoomed in. Here's my music I don't want. So I need to get that out of the way. So let me just shrink this down so I don't have to drag things so far. Okay. And we're just going to click on it till it turns yellow and drag it to the end of our movie. There might be a faster way of doing this. I haven't figured it out yet. There. I'm at the end. Okay, so I'm going to put it right there. And then i got to go grab my title. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, it's got to be around here somewhere. Right there. And I'm just going to tap on it and drag that down to the end too. And drop it. It's fine. This thing, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm not liking it. But you can see the lips don't match up. Bonus day. I was supposed to help him with his website today, but it's Sunday and the game's on, and he decided he'd rather watch the game. So I. There's a way I'm thinking to fix that. But if I want to remove the audio from this and try and sync it back up. I don't know how often, this is the first time I've run into this, so I don't know whether or not you guys are. So this is, we're going to play with this together. So what I'm going to do, I've got it highlighted. I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to duplicate that clip. Okay, so now it just made a second copy of it. I am going to drag this down to my music line, and it turns it into an audio track instead of a video track. And it's probably going to take a little bit for it to complete itself but now you can see it's the same size as that one here see you can see the percentage now and then I'm going to mute this one out because they don't line up with my lips so I'm going to go to edit volume turn it down this is how I do the stick with me where I'm reading the book I take my audio track and I mute it or if I'm using that selfie stick where I talked about when you plug it in it mutes it so that's how I do that and then I do the voice, I use this thing, and I just record voice on it instead of video. Or I could do video, it doesn't matter. And I put that in the audio track down here. Now I'm going to see if I could possibly line up my lips to that. We'll see. I'm going to let it actually finish so that I don't have all these issues with it, like being weird on me. So let's wait for that to finish. In the meantime, I can put... I don't need a transition there actually because it's going right from one thought to another. Let's check the ending, see if that looks okay. Let's bring this, we can work on this while we're looking over here. And I had this thing starting way sooner when she was beginning to wiggle. Right there. So let us know. What do you want to see next? What are you enjoying?
here's the cool thing with this. Let me spread it apart a little bit more. Excuse me. That's what, that's what he said. Ah, come on. That's what I was talking about with the whole, whatever. You can actually see like this, the equalizer here. So sometimes what I've done is I'll just make a new splice in it, like where it's no big sound going on, like right there, and then tap it and cut it, throw that part away. Now I've got this in the way again, and try it again. And then if I don't like it, I can stretch it back out and it puts the beginning back on again. What are you enjoying? You want to see a dance video? How long is that thing? Holy crap. Way too long, I think. Let's see, because I want it to start right about here, 35 to 55. Oh, that's 20 seconds. 33, we'll go to 53, whatever. We'll just leave it alone. Now, if I wanted it quiet and I wanted to get louder right here, I could attempt to cut it and then turn up the volume right after that. But I don't want that to fade in. And I don't want this one to fade out. What are you enjoying? You want to see a dance video? Now, hopefully this down here is done loading itself, that audio track. Back over here. Way down here, okay. It's at 69% takes a while. All right. Now, over here, I need to get where I can see my mouth <laughs> and line it up to the audio. So, let's try and find something where we'll be able to see what I say and line it up. And I'm going to use this to... Um, right there. See, I say two. Two. Um, so my words are before my lips. Use this to, um, okay, so I need to move this thing just a little tiny bit, but I've got it set to that automatically snap thing, which is effing it up. I have two choices. I can either cut a little off of this to bring it in, or I could move this out. We're going to cut the video. Use this to um, much off. Let me stretch it out so I can see more of what I'm doing. Put it back where it was. Oh, I, that's way too far. So I have this screen recorder app. Ooh, got lucky. And I'm going to use this to, um, briefly, I know. Figured out how to fix that. And let's see, we'll put it up here. And you can see it, you can't, you can see it great on the black, but you can't see it on there. So we're going to outline that. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time farting with this, but we'll do like this. And then I guess we could do like I know I use a lot of teal, but it seems to be a good color for showing up. There. That goes with my suit, right? There. We figured out how to fix that. And make it just a little bit smaller. There we go. And that's good. I'm waiting. 
Hey. Use this to um, briefly. I know the lips don't match up to the voice because this is like take eight, and I keep in it up. But I. And then we go, and we're into the actual meat of it here. It's not keeping up up here. Now, this little part that I just showed you how to do that, I gotta add that, and then I'm calling it a day because otherwise I'll keep doing things over and over. So you saw how I'm gonna enter, add another thing. I'm gonna hit stop on this, and it's gonna then be available to me to choose. I'm gonna put it in right here, and then I'm going to finish the video up. Now, let me show you how you finish it in here, because I need to do that or I'm gonna end up having to do another clip. So over here, this button, I'm gonna hit save. And then, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm gonna hit the produce video, sorry, produce video button. Once I do that, it will then um, turn it into a loadable video. It will go from, here's my projects, okay? So right now it's a project. It will create it into a format that can be loaded into YouTube and I'll then see it over here. And then I can load into YouTube. So that will be uh, another episode because we're at like two hours long on this. I can't keep going. It's way too much information. So you can work on recording your video, use my tips for woo -hoo -hoo, um, how, what to make for your content, editing it up, get it produced because all you got to do is when you're in your video, it's even from this screen, hit produce video and then if you don't know how to load to YouTube, that's going to be another episode because I need to do something else. We're at, you can see it's an hour 34 and then I got another 26 minutes on this. So it's two hour video we've got here. It's time to stop. This is getting out of hand. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop and I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to work on something else. And we'll get this put out there for you guys. Okay, take care. Well, what'd you think? Did you learn anything? Really? Mm. Okay. Well, if you got tips, helpful tips, questions, leave comments. If you want to see more of this series, let her know in the comments. Is anybody watching this crap? I don't know. What do you want to see? Let her know what you're looking forward to. She's got a lot going but she always wants to make sure that she's doing what you want to actually watch and not just, you know, whatever sparkly things in front of her because that's how it goes. Yeah. If you've watched, you know, a couple, you know. Ooh, shiny, squirrel. You know, it's distraction. So let us know. What do you want to see next? What are you enjoying? You want to see a dance video?